video you are just about to watch describes the way the 3G technology works on your Wayne equipment. Whenever a new customer arrives, the last sale performed will be on the display. The preset keypad has a cancel key that allows you to cancel the sale. There is also a key that allows you to change the preset mode from cash to volume. After programming the value using the preset keypad, remove the nozzle from the nozzle boot to start the sale. The display will run a segment test on the LCD, showing 8s, then zeros, and finally resetting. The proportional solenoid valve is responsible for controlling the flow. The motor drives the compact pumping unit. The compact pump unit and motor set are connected through two pulleys and a V-belt. The product located in the underground tank is pushed towards the pump. This is due to the pressure differential. Wayne's compact pump unit is capable of creating a low pressure of approximately 4.9 psi directly under the pumping unit. Considering an atmospheric pressure of 14.7 psi at sea level, less the 4.9 on the compact pump unit gives us a pressure of 9.8 psi which is available to lift the product to the pump. Before going inside the compact pump unit, the product passes through an inlet filter in order to retain any possible particles that might exist on the product. As the rotor and shaft rotate, they turn the idle gear. Because the idle gear is located slightly off-center in the rotor, this rotation causes gaps to be opened between the idle gear and the rotor fingers. This opening of gaps is what causes the lowering of pressure on the suction side of the pumping unit. On the pressure side of the pumping unit, these gaps are closed. The product which is displaced by closing the gap is forced towards the outlet of the pumping unit thus causing an increased pressure. Air separation. Product is driven into one end of a cylindrical chamber in the pumping unit. The product then starts to swirl along the chamber and discharges out in the other end. Through the centrifugal force on the product, air being lighter than gasoline, the air goes to the center of the swirling product. The product is returned to the suction side of the pump when the product in the chamber becomes high enough to lift the float assembly. The I-meter common inlet passage runs through the meter body to the common meter dome casting. Here the flow is divided for measurement to either side of the meter. It passage incorporates a check and pressure relief valve. Top access of these valves allows inspection without draining the meter body. When the measuring element rotates, it creates a disturbance on the magnetic field. The magnetic disc has 26 north poles and 26 south poles. Inside the pulser case, there is a shared small printed circuit board which is equipped with four Hall effect sensors for each measuring element. There is also a microprocessor on the printed circuit board that reads the changes on the sensors and calculates the volume rates through the measuring elements. By reading these conditions, the microprocessor can determine in which direction the measuring element is spinning and if any forbidden condition has occurred which can indicate that manipulation is present. The microprocessor communicates with the pump computer and can both convert the Hall effect sensor's conditions to conventional pulsar signals and communicates other information sequentially. Built-in calibration logic in the intelligent pulsar software counts the incoming pulses and compares them to a stored calibration factor. Pulsar sends the volume delivery data to the CPU using a proprietary protocol. The volume data is previously corrected by the calibration factor stored in the pulsar.
The volume data received by the IGM board is processed. It uses the volume data to calculate the total amount to be paid. All the information is then transmitted to the display. The CPU keeps monitoring the volume delivered to control the flow rate on the solenoid valve in order to close it when the program amount is reached. After reaching the programmed value, the solenoid valve closes completely. The motor is turned off and the sale is ended. We do energy moves.